Well, welcome again. This is going to be the final video in our reading of Mark. I'm just going to do the shorter ending um, to the Gospel of Mark, and this is chapter 16 then. So, um, begin with a genitive absolute, uh, and the, sa the Sabbath passing through, this is from De Aginamai, so when the, when the Sabbath was completed, Mary uh, of Magdala, or Mary the Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, and Mary the understood wife of James and Salome, bought from Agorazdo aromata spices in order that, having come, feminine participle, they might anoint him. This is from Alepho. And exceedingly early on the first day after the Sabbath, this is idiom, idiomatic here, the Sabbath of course is our Saturday and then this is on the Sunday, uh, they come, historic present, to the tomb and now we get another genitive absolute, this is from Anna Taylor to rise when the sun was rising and it's a present participle. Um, no, it's not, sorry, this is an aorist, so that when the sun had arisen, aorist participle. Uh, and they were saying to themselves, who, Apocalise, who will roll away from Apocalisto for us the stone from the, literally the door, so that's the entrance of the tomb. And Anablepsasi, this is an, uh, an aorist feminine participle, you can see by the ending, they having looked up, they see that the stone um, has been rolled. This is the perfect or perfect passive of the verb apocalisdo, that the stone has been um, rolled away. Aingar uh, megasphodra, for it was great exceedingly. Now th this is a, a, a Hebraism here. Um, Hebrew doesn't have um, comparatives and superlatives, so um, and they often um, just add a word at the end of their sentence to mean exceedingly, and that is typically gets translated in the Septuagint by spodra. It's the word mord in Hebrew. So it was exceedingly great, and exelthusai, again feminine participle here from um, Ace Urkemai, and having entered into the tomb, they saw. Near Niscon, a young man seated on the right side, Peribeblemenon, uh, clothed, this is from Peribello, literally having thrown around, but we've seen this in the sense of clothed before in Mark, in a white um, stole, a white garment. Um, and they were amazed. And he says to them, do not be terrified. This is from Exambio. It's the passive. Do not be terrified. You are uh, you are seeking Jesus the Nazarene, the one having been crucified. This is the perfect passive participle here. Um, we get a semicolon here. They've written Ergethe. He has been raised. Uk est in hodi, he is not here. Behold the place where they placed him, where they laid him from Tithami. Um, now Allah by itself can often just mean rather but, you can often just translate it as come in classical Greek, and it probably you could do that here. So come rather than but, depart or go. Uh, speak to the, his disciples and to Peter that he goes ahead of you into Galilee. Um, Opsi, look for him. So you, sorry, now you will see him there. This is just the future from um, Horato. You will see him there, just as he said to you. Feminine participle here. Having gone out, they fled from the tomb. For Tromos, fear, took took them, so took hold of them. 
fear and ecstasis, probably, well, the uh, word ecstasy from that, probably wonderment. So fear and wonderment took them, and they said nothing to no one. So they didn't say anything to anyone, for they were afraid. And that's the shorter ending of Mark, and that is the end of our reading of the Gospel of Mark.